Large scorpions are intriguing, and our segments with Steve Kutcher featured two unique examples of large scorpions. This is a scorpion. It's in uh, called. It's in the genus Pandinus, and um, their claws are quite large. What I'm going to do is I'm pick one up and put it on my hand. And what I, you'll notice that when I hold it, I hold it so that its legs. The important thing with a scorpion is that the legs have plenty of support. This is venomous. It doesn't like the light. It's trying to get out of the light. Um, you do have to be careful about being stung, but as long as you give the freedom of movement and as long as you don't inhibit it, it can crawl around. The worst things to do is to not let it go where it wants to go because it will hold on with its claws. If it feels like it's falling, it'll hold on with its claws. And I'm going to have a net. Just reach in and, uh, well, first I'll put it on her hand and then, I, then I'll have her reach in and just so she can see what it feels like. So that's kind of a light touch to it. And then I'm going to have her pick it up. And I'll show you, when you take a scorpion like this, you see you have to let her, let the scorpion will tell you where it wants to go. And we'll put it on a hand. Okay, now I'm going to set it down inside and I'm going to show you. I don't pick up other scorpions this way. I actually have a little trick of using a uh, a 3x5 card and if you gently, and let me show you, hold your finger out like this grab the tail this with that much strength and if you grab her and then pick it up and put it on your hand so let me see you just grab the tail one time okay uh, so you pick like her up that. like this and put it right on your hand like that gotcha. just like that right, let's give it a go bag it up, put it on your hand perfect and that's how easy it can be. Of course, you wouldn't want to do this with some of the other scorpions like Centauroides that, that are venomous enough to kill a human being. Something like this, if you were stung, it would just hurt for a while. But they're very interesting animals. Um, they carry their young around on, on top of them. And they also show under fluorescent light. That's one of the ways we collect them. Of course, this comes from Asia. So the... Uh, so, uh, I only collect the ones in the southwest. What is this right here? This, uh, this is the stinger, and this is the uh, part that you have to be concerned about in terms, in terms of venom. And you notice that it's brown in this area. The ones that come from Africa, I believe, are black. And I'll put this... So when you pick her up, you shouldn't pick her up right there, right? Be careful not to. You have to be very careful, and when you put her down, you see, even when she's on my hand like this, she wants to... I'm assuming it's a she, wants to hold on. And so you have to get her in a flat position. That's why I'll sometimes, oops, I'll sometimes put her on something smooth like glass, because once they're on glass, then you can easily pick them up. They have nothing to hold on to, and you can put them back in. That was wonderful. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> I think she'll handle anything now. <laughs> Obviously, the handling of scorpions is best left in the hands of someone like Steve Kutcher. Now, although scorpion stings are painful, most are not life-threatening. However, a dangerous one that we should make you aware of is the bark scorpion. It's found in the southwestern portion of the United States. It can be distinguished from other species by a more slender tail segment and pinchers. Small children are at the highest risk for a scorpion sting. They can show roving eye symptoms and hyperactivity.